Okay, so Daytona, last time that you see it like this. I'm Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger from martinthevlogger.com slash shop. So the largest European shop for Canem Spider and Ryko aftermarket parts. More than 350 items and I keep adding new and new. So if you have seen my first episode about this rebuild, it's Daytona 2018 and I told you like what we will be doing. And in today's episode, first thing I need to do, I need to hurry up. I need to stripe uh, the whole bike, put it on parts and take it to a rep studio. Uh, there is a slight change. I told you it's gonna be a shadow black wrap, but it ain't gonna be that one. Uh, it's gonna be even cooler. So wait for that. And honestly, I don't know what this part will include because my friend is just laying on the beach, doing nothing, just browsing my shop and adding more and more new items. So plenty of work to do, but first thing first, let's strip this Daytona. Let's do it. I can do this with my eyes closed. Boy, all that like Kenan. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tina. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war going on. Maybe put my hands on my head like the Macarino. They want you walking on. Alright, so. The bike, it's like. It's pretty naked, right? Uh, we will still remove fenders but it's not important for the rep studio so that's all fine now a couple of things like i even don't know what to tell you i'm a little bit tired it was a super long day because they've been a uh, real tv in here um they've been shooting videos about uh, my rental tour and rental agency tours on 3.com So in case guys, you would like to custom build your bikes, you can come to Bratislava, Slovakia. We will custom build it. And in the meantime, you can ride on these Rikers. Or in case guys, you are from, from US or from abroad, and you would like to experience what it means to ride around Slovakia on one of the most badass Rikers you can find in the world. Toursonthree.com, a little bit of promo. Now, a couple of things, what I have discovered, and maybe one top tip, maybe so if you have noticed on that quick video uh, i was making all of these bags so i have done this so many times but still i keep forgetting like where the screw or bolt belongs so if i'm not sure i'm taking picture and i know that that's my routine now to put all the bolts by parts into separate bags now have a look on this it's pretty dirty, right? I'm used to the, the passenger part and a little bit of here is dirty and dusty, but this is like a little bit way too much. And I know from where, from which area this bike comes. Uh, it's not from Slovakia, but it doesn't matter. It's a very dusty area. So uh, I will do it proper way. So we will clean it as much as we can. By we, it means me, of course. And also, uh, 
I did a video about how to clean your radiators, and especially on F3s. If you are in a dusty environment, I recommend to do it every two years at least. Uh, because your F3 will start to overheat once the radiators do not get enough air. And hopefully you can see, it's getting a little bit dark in here, but it's dirty, it's super dirty. <sighs> so what I will do, I will clean those radiators. So remove some more parts, but that's the job for next couple of days. So you can imagine if this is dirty, can you imagine like how the radiators will be dirty? So. Uh, the next thing why I have this one, this part over here, it has something to do with chronic issues of F3s and I have did also a separate video about that, but two things what I will be monitoring. I will put a cardboard under the bike uh, and it's not about oil, but it's about coolant. Uh, I can see it's a little bit lower, nothing dramatical, but those pipes, uh, the tubes, after some time I'm having on, on the beast, I'm having chronic issues with that, those parts. Like there's a lot of coolant leaking almost every winter that I need to fix. And no, not even the guys in the BRP can fix it. So uh, that's a, one chronic issue that F3 has. Another one, uh, I brought this part in here. And again, I don't know if you will be able to see it, but uh, let, me, let me see. Can you see those small cracks? So yeah, F3s are having, I don't know why, but terrible issues, apart from this gas tank, they're having terrible issues about cracks uh, right over here. And my F, my, the Beast, it's no exception. I already changed one and the new one is also broken. I even don't know why I'm telling you. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing <laughs> to know. Now guys, before I will put all of those parts into my car, uh, I'll make fun of my friend because he's now sleeping, it's, it's late night where he is at. So I'll take some, some pictures. He never saw a bike naked like this. So you know what, why not? Why not to make a little bit of fun? Why not? You know what I'm trying to say? So I just wrote him that I found on the internet that one dude just chopped the part of the front frame and it is much better, like lighter and better in the corners. And anyway, he has the bike for the city only, so yeah, uh, he, sh he should be like, no worry. Let's see. All right, another day here. Uh, I promised to my friend that I will clean the bike, but uh, it's just 40 degrees outside and I'm really too lazy to do it. So first, we will remove the front fenders and the rear fenders so I can start to play around uh, the license plate holder. Yeah, let's do it first and then cleaning. Cat like a cheetah, they smoke my partner like reef. Dime lo porque o no, and you know me, can they must really need Jesus. They shed real blood, I never seen the crypt and I believe it. It's too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. Too, too, it's too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. Too, it's too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. Too, it's too easy. It's too easy. I've been there, done it, seen it. Y'all just talk, don't live it. And just took that route, that seen it. I'm so out. All right, all right, all right. So what we got here, we do actually what we don't have here. It's a better like kind of way to say it. So uh, no fenders, that's cool. Uh, no rear fender, of course, and no ugly turn light signals. Uh, actually, I like the look. I was just doing Insta and Facebook video and I love the look of the bike just like this. Uh, we have, or we have, Jesus, I have cleaned uh, the most parts from the dust. So the big uh, back area, it's done. Whatever I was able to do with these big hands. And by the way, talking about hands, you know what? 
if you know my story, I used to be uh, a sales guy that runs around Europe, you know, selling things, you know. Anyway, now I'm doing this. I used to be office plankton, let's put it that way. And actually I'm leaving for a dinner to a pub and I'm super proud that I'm gonna have a dirty hands because uh, everybody will be sitting there like nice and you know posh a little bit and I'm gonna come there like properly like like dirty I don't give a damn and if you you know what I'm trying to it makes me super happy that's what I'm trying to say uh, anyway still part of this video we will do some upgrades so wait for it of course if you see this uh, Martin Vlogger uh, fix push button we also have put um, the license plate holder there I'm just testing the look. Um, it looks great like this. Uh, this one is actually the holder that I have for Rikers, but, but I will cut it here and adjust it a little. So it should look nice. However, we have one trouble. This is the license plate, kind of a, like plastic holder that holds the license plate. And this is the size of the license plate we have in Slovakia. It's just gonna look terrible. So I will need to uh, persuade my friend to to hold the license plate on bolts. So when the license plate comes, we need to drill holes, which is completely illegal. So, but hopefully he'll agree because otherwise it will be ugly. Anyway, running for a dinner and we'll continue tomorrow. So right now. All right, another day, another dollar. And today my aim is to fix that license plate holder. Uh, that's the first thing I would like to do. Um, you know, as I told you, we have these big license plates and um, they cannot, cannot go this way because it will just look terrible. So we'll go sideways, which is completely illegal. And um, I'll need to need to mount some spacer in here. I'll need to do some, some cutting of this uh, license plate holder. As I said, I'm having this one on my shop. Uh, it's for Rikers, but we will adjust it and yeah, it's it's nice high quality so and the light is in there so it will go just like this and then I will do of course also the wiring so but let's do it So the license plate holder is there. It's working just beautifully. The massive wheel, it's finally open. And of course, it will be not that super visible because once we will put the plastic, plastics around, um, you know, the, the body parts, uh, the bike will be more like, like with muscles. So it will be not that super visible. However, the rear fat tire is now open. I love it. Uh, I told you that I will be doing a fix of this push button and uh, maybe like who's watching me, you know this. That's uh, the fix that we have. Uh, it's actually called uh, Fix Push Button by MTV Manufacturing. So from my company, and this is by far the best seller. We have sold over 500 of them. And for those that don't know, uh, what this does is that uh, it's in the area where is the back seat and it works absolutely the same way on RTs, on F3Ts, uh, on F3s and Ts and whatever. 
Uh, so all of the spiders. So you have push button there and if you put something on your back seat and it doesn't matter if it needs to be a passenger, you can put there, let's say extra bag. I'm carrying over um, extra bag quite often on my back seat. Uh, push button is activated in sending the signal to the nanny and what it does, it will shut down the power. So when you are riding two up, you, the bike gets very, very limited in the power. It's turning you all, all it's turning like you off or, or the power uh, in the corners much earlier. So it doesn't allow you to drift and stuff like that. So uh, I came with this button. Um, it's, it's super heavy duty thing. Uh, I'm able to step on it. It's not a trouble. Uh, in my other video, I, went, I ran over it with the F3. So quite easy, 120 kilograms, 140 kilograms, not a problem. I'm not saying you should be using it with the passenger, but it's all fine. So uh, just like this, replace it. And also what it does, uh, it, it fixes the, the thing with the passenger seat that likes to rattle. Also the mono seat call likes to rattle uh, with this one because it's a little bit higher. Uh, it basically doesn't allow um, your things to, to rattle there. Now, uh, what we will do now, uh, let's fix this uh, fuel cap because it's now it's open, it's much easier to, to remove it and fix it. So let's do this one. Spoken like reason, Jimmy Neutron boy, young jeans. And I'm a self made man out of Sweden. And it's still off top, I'm tweaking. But I still gotta fight my demons. I ain't no good, I'm evil. I ain't been clean since Eden. It's a war going on outside. Make you put your hands on your head like the Macarena. That's why I gotta watch my demeanor. You know All right, so the the fuel cap from from La Monster, it's on the bike. Uh, I love it. Uh, it looks much better, and because this is gonna be black on black, basically bike, um, the style will fit. Uh, the thing with the installation, of course, you don't need to remove all of the parts. You, you absolutely don't need to do it. Only thing you will need to remove is this plastic thing around the key. And the only trouble that uh, you might have actually, it's to like, when you open the regular stock fuel cap, there is one bolt and that bolt, you know, it needs to be unscrewed in the way that you throw in this tool so you can hold, hold the other side of the bolt like this and then you will be able to unscrew it. It's not super complicated, it's just, it can be a little bit like, I would say annoying or whatever. May take some time, you know. Uh, anyway, a lot of comments I received because I'm running the same fuel cap on the beast. I receive a lot of comments from my friends or, you know, whoever is meeting me, like if I'm not scared that somebody will, you know, basically, because you don't need a key anymore, right? That's the great thing, apart from the fix, uh, that the stock fuel cap was having the issue and uh, now I don't need a key so I don't need to always you know open the box then I forgot my wallet so I need to put the key here go there to the front so uh, you can open it without the key and uh, a lot of comments like if I'm not worried that somebody will do something bad to me or to my bike I mean if somebody wants to do something bad to you it doesn't matter if you have a fuel cap like this or not that will simply damage your mirrors you know uh, flat your tires, you know, steal your bike, do whatever. So uh, I don't think this is an issue that somebody will put sand or something inside. So guys, this is it about today's episode. I think we can call the day. We can call this episode and um, hopefully you enjoy it. Tell me in the comments in case you are enjoying this or in case you're not uh, these uh, videos. Next one will be about what? There are shocks on the way already, so they are built. So we will be doing that. There are a few parts already in the rep studio that they are ready. So we will throw in a few parts. I will need to clean the radiators. And maybe I'm really, look, really looking forward to a Punisher with the La Monster pipe. So most probably we will do that. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, visit martinthevlogger.com slash shop uh, in case you want any of these parts or any parts and remember always have fun <laughs>